Let's kick off uh, with uh, the Ghanaian market. Now, the close of trade, the Ghanaian composite index recorded a marginal gain of 0.09% to 2014.58 points. Now, the boss was lifted by stocks like CAL, PZ Cousins, BOPP, and GGBL. Now, on the other hand, the financial stock index shed 0.34% to close at 1,690 points, pulled down by banks like GCB, UTB, and UNIL. Now, to review activities on that bourse, I'm now being joined online from Accra, Ghana, by Hilary Lumoti, a stockbroker at New World Securities. Thank you so much, Hilary, for taking the time out to talk to us. Thank you. Good morning. Well, let's start with what has, what has been the key driver for the markets uh, this week. Yeah, as you already mentioned, the uh, stock price didn't start now, uh, cow bank, uh, all yesterday. But uh, at the end of the trading, uh, the trading actually was slow. But uh, on the negotiated market, we had a huge trade going through for HSC with about uh, 23.6 million uh, valued at about uh, 15.8 million Ghana CDs on the negotiated trade. That didn't happen on the main board, it happened on the negotiated trade. So we saw that after the market had closed. But uh, generally, market activity has actually slowed down, but we have uh, a lot of uh, retail uh, trade going through. Now, I know that uh, the, the GSE financial index was uh, down yesterday, but so far, yet to date, it's up over 62%. Not bad. Uh, what do you think has been uh, the driving force behind bank stocks? What's the general sentiment now? Uh, because of the uh, quarter performance, I think most of them put up a strong uh, performance. Uh, as we come to the end of the, of the third quarter, people are actually cautious, and that's how we see uh, some uh, downward movement. But we, we believe that uh, when the third quarter results come out, uh, we pull up from the and then we see a continued effect uh, from the previous quarter. Okay, now, Hillary, let's, let's talk about the economy. Now, quite a lot has been happening lately. We've seen inflation still high at around 11.4% below the Ghanaian Authority's projection for this year. We've seen uh, the removal of few subsidies and, of course, the recent increase in tariffs for water and electricity. Now, how much of that is impacting on the market? Yeah, I think it's impacting on the market. That's how come we see some slow activities on the market, as I mentioned earlier on. Uh, People actually don't feel that uh, they don't they don't feel things are going well, and uh, as such, they are elected back. So you can see a lot of uh, these trades going to as the experience during the third quarter and second quarter of the year. But I think uh, these price increases and these uh, hikes in the economy is actually affecting our market. No, well, despite the headwinds, uh, the GSC Composite Index, the market is still up uh, over 65%. It's actually still one of the best performing gauges on the African continent. What would you say has been yeah, the strongest that, point? That's because that, that, because that will happen most, uh, at the early part of the year. We didn't feel some of, most of these price hikes uh, at the beginning of the year. So, you know, if you look at uh, the, 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 how the competition of the year to date happened, most of it happened during the first half of the year.